Hey, good evening, everyone. Uh, this is Tracy Gibbs, Chief Science Officer for LifeWise. I am about to go live uh, here in a moment with part three of Miracle Molecules. I have a really exciting presentation tonight. And as many of you know, I try to keep my presentations as short as possible. That's not just for my convenience. That is actually so that you can share them and have people watch them. You know, I have, I have a professional page on Facebook and it shows me analytics. And when I was looking at the average time that people watch my posts, I saw that they were only staying on the lives for like five to six minutes. Now, albeit that's great, uh, five to six minutes of education is better than 15 minutes, but I'm trying to keep them to 15 minutes because I believe that if you really want to learn about something and you're really motivated about something, you're gonna take 15 minutes of your day to watch this and hopefully whoever you share it with will take 15 minutes out of their day to watch this. So I will keep this down to 15 minutes today. Um, like my previous two uh, uh, Facebook Lives were on the Miracle Molecule series, but I am getting a ton of good reviews on these series. I was hesitant at first because look, I'm, di 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 <laughs> I'm diving pretty deep into some scientific terms here. I'm using words that not a lot of people understand and know. I'm asking you to do some research and whatnot. But the response has actually been amazing and it just proves to me how hungry people are for knowledge nowadays. There is so much false information out there and, and even like internet searching, you get so much negativity out there that I'm hoping that this Miracle Molecule series will bring a positive aspect to it and it's also factual. The things that I'm quoting and citing to you, I'm giving you NIH.org. Uh, uh, Google searches, PubMed Google searches, things like that that you can look right on the internet. Uh, I'm giving you facts, you guys. So let's go ahead and get started. Once again, uh, my name is Tracy Gibbs and I am over the product development. I'm the chief science officer for LifeWise. And if you don't know about LifeWise, hey, whoever sent this video to you, uh, get back to them and they'd love to tell you all about it. But LifeWise is an amazing company that I am proud to be associated with and co-founded with Rob Allen, uh, among some other who I call to be friends of mine now, officers and directors of the company. Uh, and I'm building a LifeWise team and I love all of my team members. There are over a thousand of us uh, just on my team alone, and I'm super excited to be presenting tonight's Miracle Molecule Part 3 for you all tonight. We are going to be covering another molecule that's found in our amazing product, Restore. Last week, I covered our patented and trademarked BOSS 10 um, by Arjuna Naturals. Uh, I mentioned their company last week. I'd love for you guys to go to their website. They're a great company. I love working with them. I love ordering from them. Uh, our rep out here in the Salt Lake area is just a great guy to work with. Well, the second ingredient that I'm going to be talking about tonight in Restore also comes from them. And let me tell you why I love this ingredient so much. First and foremost, okay, it has over 55 patents, the ingredient I'm going to talk about tonight. It has 85 plus clinical studies. It is 100% natural extract from turmeric. And maybe many of you, and, and when I'm telling you that there's 85 plus clinical studies, guys, I'm actually talking about the very ingredient we use in here, not not another form or from another supplier. I'm talking about this particular trademarked patented ingredient that, that they have a couple names for. I'm only gonna be using one. One is BCM95. So if you're in front of your laptop, after the presentation, not right now, but type in B as in boy, C as in cookie, or curcumin, M95, M as in Mary, BCM95. Now, the 95 in BCM95 stands for a 95% standardized extract of curcumin. But let me tell you why BCM95 is so special. BCM95 is the only form of curcumin out there to combine a turmeric essential oil, so it has all the phytoactive compounds that are steam distillated out of the turmeric root, 
So not just curcumin, but the other components. And so it has all that and is combined with a, a pretty rare substance that you don't find in other curcumins, and that's called AR tumorone. This is another bioactive compound that's found in the turmeric that has numerous clinical studies for inflammation and pain alleviation. So we're not just a curcumin. Curcumin is one extract from the turmeric root, but we have a steam distillate of the turmeric root, which contains curcumin, plus this other phytochemical called tumorone. And you're not going to find that in other uh, sources of curcumin or other extracts of turmeric. It's the only one out there. And again, that's, that's why it's patented. It's also the, the most, the world's most natural form of extracting uh, the bioactive compounds in turmeric because the steam distillation from the essential oil doesn't need any solvents or chemicals or anything like that. It literally is just a steam distillate, just like you would make a whiskey or something like that. It's a distillation process. Because it is so natural, I hate repeating this, that it's the only one in the world, but it is. It's the only one in the world to have the FDA's grass rating standard for curcumins, okay? It's the only one to have the FDA grass rating for curcumin, which is incredible. I mean, you can buy curcumin at Costco. You can get it on Amazon. You can get curcumin anywhere. It's like one of the most widely available, you know, retail-wise available uh, bioactive molecules on the market. And yet this is the only one that's grass rated. That's why I chose this particular brand. Not just because of the 85 plus clinical studies, not because of the 55 plus patents, but because it's the most natural extract extraction process and because it's grass rated. Let me tell you a few other things about BCM95. Uh, it's non-GMO, because again, it's the, the way they grow it, they're not genetically modified uh, uh, turmeric plants that they're using. It is Prop 65 compliant. And again, that proves that they don't use any pesticides or herbicides in their growing process because trust me, if you use a pesticide or an herbicide in your growing process and then you steam distill out those bioactive compounds, you are going to be concentrating those active oils because by the way, pesticides and herbicides all have an oil component so that they stick to the plant. You would actually be compounding or increasing the pesticide and herbicide red residue in a steam distillate. But this is Prop 65 compliant, which means it has tested negative in the parts per billion negative for any herbicide, pesticide, or carcinogenic agent. Prop 65, as everyone knows, is you know that crazy law that Californians pass that basically makes you right on the label if there's any one of thousands of, of residues out there that could cause cancer. This is Prop 65 compliant. I have not seen that on any other curcumin extract out there. This is also crop plant to finished packaging tracking the entire way. So if you contact Arjuna Naturals and say, hey, you know, are you working with LifeWise and this product Restore? They have it in their system. They know that they sell to us and they would say, yes, we do sell to them. And, and this is our product, right? So it's plant to final product tracking. Uh, also, it's non-irradiated, which is super important, you guys. There are so many herbs that are shipped in from overseas. I don't care if it's India, Malaysia, Japan, Brazil, where you get your products from. Guess what the United States government loves to do in its import docks, right? Irradiate. Almost all your food products that come from a foreign country are irradiated. This one is not irradiated because it's clean to begin with. Now, let's dive into a little bit of science here. I want to talk about some of these studies. I've already mentioned what a phytochemical is. That was clear back in part one of this three-part series if you haven't seen it yet. So if you're not aware of what a phytonutrient or a phytochemical is, go back and watch part one and then part two. But I want to talk specifically about the curcumin molecules that are, that are extracted from the turmeric root. Curcumin is very difficult for your body to absorb. 
okay? In fact, it's virtually not bioavailable to the human body. It's a very large molecule, and therefore you have to do some type of nano processing or uh, I've done liposomal formulas for curcumin before where the body recognizes the fat that's surrounding the curcumin molecule and then it's carried into the bloodstream. Uh, and, and by the way, that's this particular form. This is put in what's called the SMEDS delivery or a self micro emulsifying drug delivery technology where the lipids in this blend, the black sesame oil, sesame seed oil and other things are emulsified into self-forming uh, liposomes. Uh, but curcumin in and of itself is only about 5% bioavailable. And so even though you can buy it on Amazon, even though you can get it at Costco, you can get it at many other locations out there, if it doesn't have some type of advanced delivery technology, it will not get into the bloodstream. And there have been hundreds of clinical studies that show that. In fact, I would love for you guys to go to NIH.org and type in on the search engine, bioavailability of curcumin. You will see study after study after study that shows it's low bioavailability, it's low benefit to humans in the form of oral uh, consumption, meaning capsule, pill, tablet, food form, whatever. And then go back to the NIH.org search bar and type in like liposomal curcumin or nano curcumin or advanced delivery mechanisms for curcumin. And again, you will see dozens of studies come up that show that it's the only way you can get curcumin into the bloodstream is, is with an advanced delivery technology. Now, this particular form of curcumin, this BCM95, has clinical studies showing that it not only gets into the bloodstream, that there's bioactive curcumin compounds in the bloodstream after ingesting, but that it stays active in the bloodstream for up to eight hours, which by the way is unheard of. If you know anything about curcumin and curcumin absorption and, and what they call, you know, half-life of, of the anti-inflammatory benefits of curcumin and whatnot, like four hours, five hours is pretty much the norm. But because of the combination, last week we talked about the boswellic acids, right? Boswellia serrata and the black sesame seed oil in this self micro uh, emulsifying drug delivery system. This stuff can stay active in the bloodstream for up to eight hours. Now, I told you how I take this product. I take two or three in the morning and two or three at night. Now you know why I do that. Because the two or three I take in the morning lasts me the whole day. Uh, and, and I do, I feel it. I mean, my joints feel great. I feel looser and more limber, personally speaking. And then when I do it at night, I wake up feeling <laughs> like not like a, a stiff, achy man when I wake up in the morning. There are nights where I forget to take it. And when I wake up in the morning, it's that grunt that you hear when you get out of the bed. You know, you're like, and, and grunting to get out of the bed. <laughs> That's my mornings when I forget to take Restore at bedtime. When I take it at bedtime, it's not that way at all. I can actually get up. I feel great. I, you know, get my gym clothes. I go play basketball with my buddies. Um, but that's why I do. Uh, uh, and if, look, if you've got severe pain, like a chronic arthritis or something like that, I'm not your doctor. I'm not going to make any recommendations, but just know with eight hours activity in the bloodstream, you could, if you wanted to, take some in the morning and then take another dose eight hours later and then take another dose eight hours after that. If you had that, you know, chronic pain that you were just trying to get um, uh, rid of. Uh, and again, not making any claims on this product whatsoever. But I would love for you guys to go to their website and look at the clinical studies that they have done. 85 plus clinical studies. You can click on some of those. They, they don't give you details, but they give you kind of the summaries of, of a lot of those studies. So let's get back. Uh, uh, I want to go over once again, BCM95 is the trademarked patented term for the type of, of curcumin that we use in Restore. The only FDA grass rated form of curcumin. The only one out there that is the complete phytoactives from the turmeric root through the steam distillation process and combined with what's called AR tumorone, another bioactive compound. So it's not just curcumin, it is also 
Tumorone. It is also the boswellic acids. It's all of those things that we, we talked about, not in just this one, but in, in section two or part two uh, of the story uh, behind Restore as well. So my time is almost up. I hope this was beneficial and interesting for you. If it was, please share it. It's only 15 minutes long. You guys can watch that. But I'll tell you, if you have not tried Restore yet, this is something you need to add to your daily supplement program. I haven't even had time today to talk about the antioxidant properties of curcumin and what those can do uh, for your body and the benefits that they have. But guess what? You can internet search benefits of turmeric extract or benefits of curcumin and get all the information that you need from there anyway. So thank you for your time today. Again, this is Tracy Gibbs uh, with LifeWise. I'm signing off. I have one more part to this series, which will be next week, Tuesday, part four of Miracle Molecules. And then I'll be doing a whole new, uh, a different type of training program. So again, once again, thank you for joining me and you guys have a good evening tonight. Bye.